Hi guys and a very happy new year to all of uh, you and in this video I'm going to tackle try to tackle a major problem that we are having with a lot of popular Android smartphones and this started almost last year and happening even to some of the expensive phones and that is regarding the proximity sensor issue when you're actually taking calls on your smartphones uh, uh, the calls will get muted or uh, some buttons will get clicked and this is happening a lot because of the proximity sensor issues that I'm finding on many of the Android Android smartphones and I noticed that this is happening a lot on all almost all Android smartphones except Samsung smartphones and I did a lot of digging regarding this and I found that if a smartphone by default is using the Google dialer even on this pixel 7 Pro I am having the proximity sensor issue to some extent not always like some of the other phones but it's happening even on this one so I was doing a little bit of digging and I noticed that many of the smartphones that were using the default Google dialer are having this issue so it's a calibration issue so i thought why not i test some other uh, dialer software if this can actually solve the issue and i think so uh, this can be now solved because i tested it with the nothing phone uh, i tested it with some of the xiaomi uh, redmi phones and actually it has solved the issue so let me talk about that one and the name of this uh, software is actually uh, known as right dialer what i'll do is i've been actually uh, testing it and using it on this uh, redmi phone for the last five days it's been working very fine in fact i asked one of my cousins also to use it on her nothing phone she was having proximity issues sensor issues that solved i tried it on the pixel 7 pro so this actually works i would say for 90 percent of the users and let me actually uh, try to install it from scratch so that you can get an idea because you have to make some additional settings to make it work and the first thing that you'll have to do is let, let me actually show you is download that software and uh, we'll go to the play store and the uh, name of the software is known as right tyler i'll just zoom in and as you can see so just install this one and uh, this is actually free guys this is uh, open source so there's no ads or anything it's just the developer asks for a donation if you like it so that way i like it okay this is done uh, let's not open it uh, the icon will be formed somewhere here so first thing we'll do is remove and again if now if you uh, you have to remove your default dialer that is there and bring this back over here and now if you click on this one it will ask you for making it the default dialer and this is something that you will have to do actually go to the dialer and set it as default this is very important and it will pick up and in some of the uh, phones it will not pick up the contacts and all those things the recent calls like this so you'll have to give uh, permissions i noticed that especially on the redmi phones i had to actually do that but it will do this but again there are some permissions that you have to give to this dialer it will work okay okay but not the full functionality so i would uh, suggest the first thing you do is go to the settings tab and here if you notice you have a lot of settings on this one so you can actually customize it uh, on this one and uh, you can manage your speed dial all of this uh, i would say i'll always uh, display incoming calls on full screen please enable this one because otherwise sometimes the the dialer comes only in the notification so i have to do that miss call notification i keep it on and uh, again, uh, if you notice, there is an option of disable proximity sensor during calls. I noticed that I didn't have to enable this on, on all phones, uh, but if your phone is having serious proximity sensor issues uh, and the default setup is not working, then you might have to uh, do this. And after doing this, almost entire proximity sensor issues. But again, by default, I didn't have to enable this. So these are some of the uh, options that you have to enable on this one. And you have to go back. And apart from this, uh, again, there are some uh, things that you have to do. So just click on this dialer app and uh, go to the IE or whatever in your interface. This is um, nothing phones are very close to stock Android. And uh, here in permissions, this has already given the permissions, but in some of the custom UIs, these permissions are not given. So you have to give uh, these permissions. Uh, remove this pause app if unused because this app has to be in memory all the time and uh, battery optimization also if you can go uh, give it unrestricted access for this one by default it should be like that but again and uh, display over apps this is also something that has to be enabled so the, so now the app is done and you will be using this the dialer all the, it has the quick dialing and all this functionality is there and this should fortunately not now your proximity sensor should be uh, uh, should be sorted again if you're still having as again as have to go to, go to the settings and um, this is the new option i call it uh, disable proximity sensor during call this will completely solve it but i didn't have to do it on many of the phones on only on one phone i had to do it so that's what it is now let me actually show it to you even on a custom ui like for example on the xiaomi phone uh, it has a lot of permissions are restricted so i've just installed this app 
uh, if I just click this, first thing, as you know, does again, it's not getting any access. So you have to give request access and I love all this favorites, contacts, it has taken. But again, here also again, do the same thing. And uh, um, always display the this, you have to enable missed call notification, you have to enable, uh, uh, so these are some of the uh, disabled proximity sensor as I've told you. You don't have to use it, but again, still even after installing this call, app, you're having proximity sensor, you have to do this. But on Xiaomi phones, I noticed that you have to give a lot more permissions. Go to this app info, and this might be applicable even for some of the custom uh, UIs and stuff like that, uh, Realme and all those things might be. Um, give it auto start, because this, application is now your dialer and in uh, app permissions again you have to give permission for the microphone as i've told you i love uh, all, all, all the time and even the phone permission you have to allow again for xiaomi phones and remove the permissions uh, just remove this option and on notifications also uh, make sure all these things are uh, enabled on this one and there were some more app permissions. Uh, we have given the app permissions to this one. And uh, there are actually, uh -huh. full screen mode, it should be allowed on this one. Otherwise, this app will give an issue. Other permissions, okay, uh -huh. this is what's important on Xiaomi phones. So uh, you have to actually allow this to display pop-up window. So you have to always allow that. And this is a safe app, so I'm okay giving it permission so now this app will even work uh, fine on what do you say again you have to make the dialer as the default set as default now it should actually work well even on xiaomi phones and i've tested it so again this uh, uh, dialer is helping a lot with the proximity sensor issues that we are having on a lot of android smartphones if you are a person who is fed up of the proximity sensor issue on an android smartphone and if you're using the google dialer default google dialer definitely give this app a try it should actually hopefully fix your proximity sensor issue i hope you found this video helpful and again a very happy new year to all of you and if you guys are still not subscribed to this youtube channel hit that subscribe button anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching take care catch you later